Are you still looking for quality music for your next video project? A few weeks ago, I made a video talking about different music service providers for creators. In that video, I shared various different music options at different price points with different features. And at the end, I actually provided which service I use personally. Truthfully, that video did not gain a ton of traction, but it did capture the attention of the folks over at Musicbed. After checking out my video, they reached out to see if I wanted to try their product in exchange for a review. Now, a disclaimer up front, I was not paid a sum of money for this review. I was only offered the product to use and no money has changed hands. The review in this video is going to be unbiased. I'm gonna give my honest opinions. And with that, let's get started. First things first, I wanna say that I have been using Musicbed for the past few weeks. I've actually used it in the past two videos on this channel. So the music in those videos was actually found and pulled from Musicbed. Once you log into the platform, I can say that it looks very clean, it's very pristine. The controls and navigations are rather intuitive and easy to find and explore. There is one thing that I wanna call out though. While most music services consider themselves royalty free, Musicbed is actually considered a rights managed music service. All this really means is that the artists or the labels that they're assigned to maintain the copyright to that music, essentially ensuring that they get paid for the work that they do, which in my opinion is a win-win. Next, let's talk about the music choices themselves. Musicbed boasts the largest collection of curated music with over 50,000 songs in its library. They also claim that every artist that's on Musicbed has been vetted and even every song has been vetted. They go so far as to say that less than 1% of the music that is submitted to their service gets accepted. They do this so that they're only including the most premium or the best versions of songs for people to choose from. Another key aspect of Musicbed is something I briefly touched on and that's that they work directly with record labels, including the Vintage Collection, the Classic Collection, and Bitbird. They work directly with these label companies to provide excellent music for their service. Personally, the music that I choose for my videos has a specific sound or style, and whenever I'm looking for this type of music on a platform, I want to be able to easily find it or go back to it. And coming from a different music service and trying to use Musicbed, I can say that it was not difficult to find the type of music that I was looking for. Just like any other music service, it takes a minute to really find exactly what you're looking for. But honestly, once I found an artist or a type of song that I like, it was very easy to find similar songs or go down the rabbit hole to find something that suited the video that I was looking to create. Most of this was thanks to a feature that's found in a lot of other music services right now, and that's something called Show Similar, where the service will do its best to find similar songs to a song that you've already picked. Where Musicbed stands out is that they now have an AI-powered search by song feature. So this feature allows you to take literally any song in the world, as long as it's on Spotify, plug it into their system, and it will find a similar song. Where this gets even more powerful is that you can even specify which part of the song you want it to analyze and find something similar to. So if you have a song that the intro is really good and you really like that vibe, you can search for songs that show similar intros to that song. It's extremely powerful, it's extremely interesting, and it's something that I haven't seen in other music platforms that I think, you know, if, if you wanna get that granular, that it has the ability to do that. Another cool feature that Musicbed offers, and it's pretty exclusive to them, is filtering and searching by key. So this is something that I would consider a little more pro feature. If you're looking to find songs that are in the same key or very similar key or keys that flow together, there's this option to where you can literally pick songs that are in the same key so everything flows together. Or if you're trying to create a mood or create your own sound landscape using music keys, you have the ability to do that. 
features like that super powerful AI song search and even the filter by keys are the reason why I said that Musicbed is geared more towards filmmakers than everyday YouTube content creators. It's not a bad thing. These features are really cool and extremely powerful. It's just an observation. Other features that are not exclusive to Musicbed include playlists, favorites, sync ID, projects, and other things like that. I've experienced most of these other features with the exception of projects. This feature allows you to create essentially a project where you can save songs that you think might be interesting or fit this project. It's also available for a collaboration effect. So if multiple people are searching for music for a project, they can all go in and add songs. Again, this is a feature that I would consider more geared towards filmmakers than everyday content creators, unless they have a team. While I've been enjoying the music and the platform itself, there is one part of this process that caught me off guard that I wasn't used to, and that is the actual licensing feature of this program. In the past and other programs that I've worked with, you sign up for the service, you choose your tier, and then you're immediately able to just download the songs for use. On Musicbed, that's not the case. You are presented with several options whenever it's time to download a song. So once you're in your subscription and you choose a song that you want to use, you're presented with two options. There is a download button and then there is a license button. If you click the download button, you're then presented with two more choices, which is download preview, which will give you an unwatermarked version of the song or the license option, which gives you a watermarked version of the song, which should clear any program or system that is saying, you know, do you have the authorization to use this music? If you choose the try it option, it does give you a prompt that, you know, you're not supposed to use that song in your final project. If you do, you could be flagged for copyright violation or anything like that. If you choose the use it option, you're then presented with an additional pop-up which asks you to fill out information about the project that it will be used. You'll need to fill out everything from the project title to the video title to the channel that it's going to be primarily used on. And you even have the option to fill out a description describing the purpose and use of the song choice. Don't get me wrong. I completely understand why this feature exists, why this step exists. It's just something that caught me off guard whenever I initially tried to go in and download music to use in my YouTube videos. Future Larry here, I just want to clear something up. After speaking with the folks over at Musicbed, I found out that I'm actually on an enterprise version of a subscription plan and that the standard version of a subscription plan only has the watermarked version of the song for preview, not the unwatermarked version of the song. Just wanted to clear that part up. Also, one small note about the project's feature is that if you add multiple songs to your project, uh, whenever you're filling out that form with all of those details, you only have to fill it out once. And then whenever you download the songs, you can check multiple songs and you can download everything at once. And it'll have all of that project information saved in that project file. As I mentioned in my previous video, the pricing is tiered for really all levels. So it starts at an individual plan, which covers YouTube creators, social media content creators, and things like that. There's another tier for wedding filmmakers, and it goes all the way up to people who want to use music for national TV spots or even feature films. At the time of recording this video, the lowest tier starts at $29 a month for personal use. This will cover things like a YouTube video, an Instagram video, or TikTok video. If for some reason you need to use a song for something other than your original subscription license, you have the option to purchase an additional license or upgrade your account at any time. If you do decide to stick with your account but you want to download that song, you can get 25% off that single use license. An example of this would be I primarily have this service for my YouTube channel and my YouTube videos. I'm also someone who likes to record weddings and make wedding videos. And so if I wanted to use a song from Musicbed for a wedding video, I would need to purchase a single use license to use that song. And if I wanted to, I could purchase a single use license 
at 25% off to use that song in that wedding video. Another thing that I thought was interesting about Music Bed as a Service is that you don't necessarily need a subscription to even use the service. If you wanna explore the music catalog, you can. And then once you find a song that you would like to use, you have the option to purchase a single use license without even having a subscription. Just as a disclaimer, those licenses start at $59 per song for non-commercial use. If you'd like to try Musicbed, they're currently offering a 14 day free trial. Use the link in the description to enjoy three free song licenses of your choice that will even remain cleared even if you don't keep the service and cancel your subscription. Just as a disclaimer, the link is an affiliate link. If you do sign up using that link, I have the possibility to earn some sort of commission at no extra cost to you. Personally, I've been enjoying using Musicbed. I don't think I'm gonna switch to it solely, but I am planning to use it in conjunction with the other music service that I prefer to use. And we'll see what we'll see how things go. All of the music that's been played in this video has come from Musicbed. I wanna say thank you to the fine folks at Musicbed for giving me the opportunity to try out this service and for giving the viewers of this video the opportunity for that 14 day free trial and those three free songs. If you have any specific questions about the service, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to point you in the right direction. And if this video didn't convince you on at least attempting to use the service, you may want to try one of the other services that I recommended in a different video. You can check that out somewhere on this screen. Until next time, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Remember to do the work, believe in yourself, and keep creating. Peace.